Hey Aquarius, welcome to your reading for the situation between you and the person most on your mind. Um, maybe you just want to know who's coming towards you, but this is uh, for a soulmate connection. So keep that person in mind while we're doing this reading and we'll see the situation between you both. Uh, the past situation or before looking at the future situation okay guys so let's have a look here we're gonna use this one as your past this one as your present and this one as your future so we're going to keep the future to the side a second here and we're going to see what the past situation is with you guys okay so let's see for Aquarius the person most on your mind let's see what the past situation is with you guys um six of swords uh, sorry six of um wands there um this person bringing many spiritual lessons to you like a dream come true this relationship the attraction was strong the love was there let's see but there was also ego um a lot of ego let's see queen of cups so in the past situation, there was undoubtedly love and attraction, um, but this person came in with a purpose, and that purpose was to teach you um, this soul's lesson, okay, with that six of wands. Um, you may even still dream about this person, but this person and you together, it was almost too good. Um, so I guess... You know, you didn't even realize that you could lose this person um, because you was very much in love with them and they very much showed you that they was attracted and loved you too. Uh, six of uh, wands and seven of cups there. There's a lot of love and attraction. Um, but with the seven of cups, it shows, you know, there's something behind it. You know, when we get to Pisces season, we say things look to be amazing, but then this whatever happened between you both, maybe even uh, another option here, um, it, you just didn't see it coming. You just didn't see uh, what was going to happen in this connection. You thought they was definitely in love with you and you was definitely in love with them. Um, scary thing is, it might have been just desire that led them away. So let's see the bottom of the deck for the past, intuition. So I feel um, you knew this person was going to change you. I don't feel like you know how. Yeah, Eight of Swords, you didn't know how, um, but they was going to change you. And you just knew it, that you loved them so much that this would be the one. So you might have even viewed them as the one. Um, and let's see what's going on in the present situation between you both. Uh, King of Swords, so that person is cold distance so there could be a distance between you here hermit yeah so in separation knight of swords there and ace of cups so the present situation here um with this combination of cards is that you need them to act towards you you desire them to offer you this ace of cups um i feel like Although usually when you, you know, ghost somebody yourself, <laughs> um, it's probably easy for you to um, pull back. But this time, regrouping was probably the most difficult thing. Them being cold towards you when they've shown you so much love and warmth. Um, yeah, it, this time it was the most difficult thing you've ever experienced. It sent you with this soul's journey with the hermit. It's not even the being alone that is hurting you right now. It's that you know their actions were reckless, um, probably led away by desire. You know their actions were full of ego. With the emperor will be above this knight of uh, swords here. And you knew this was true love. You knew this was your true love. In the present, um, I feel you have the urge to reach out and speak to them. Um, and that's because they have the urge to reach out and tell you, 
hey, this is what happened. Uh, this is the truth, or at least their version of the truth. Um, because your intuition knows what happened. Um, knows they were led away by temptation. Knows that um, this was a spiritual journey that you had to take. Um, I don't feel like anybody wants to take this kind of spiritual journey where you end up in this hermit mode, feeling alone, even destroyed at time, confused here with the Seven of Cups. This is how they've left you. But the love is still there. The Ace of Cups is still present here and it's in our present. So the love that you um, had for them, you are redirecting it into you but you still love them here. Um, with them being cold uh, towards you, I feel that's part of the lesson, like you are cut off from that sort of information um, unless you use your intuition to gather it. Um, so they give you no outwards or physical signs that they still love you or even still think about you. But I would suggest that they do here. Um, these are action cards, the king and the knight. Um, this is this person wanting to move towards you. This is this person, like, being on the outside of that hermit mode from you is also very painful to them. It's very cold without each other. Whereas we see the fire when with each other and we see love when with each other. It almost feels like death, like this This is probably what you've been through, that experience of that death and rebirth process. You might not be quite at the rebirth just yet and this is why it just feels like you're going through that death energy here. And that's quite strong, right? Let's see what the bottom of the deck is there. Oh, wonderful. Ace of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So, like I said, you wishing for them, maybe even trying to manifest a text message from them, wishing for them to return. Um, it's a good sign, this, because it's like your wish could be granted here. Yeah, there's definitely your wish um, with the Queen of Swords, Six of Cups, the Magician and the Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles. If things were to come into balance, uh, I definitely see this person um, reaching out to you during this time uh, in the present. So some of you will be getting contacted by this person if this read is for you. Um, because we see the Knight of Swords, them wanting to take action. I'm a little bit worried about their ego. So let's have a look here at um, the future of the situation between you and the person most on your mind. Um, it's a good sign that you're both feeling this urge to act. It shows that uh, the soulmate connection is still very strong. You're still mirroring each other. So what you're feeling, they are feeling also. Ten of Swords. So in the future, this will be um, an end to this cycle. Judgment. Ooh, the sun. I'm loving it. Seven of Pentacles. In the future, um, the most difficult thing for you is that you've already gave so much with that uh, seven of pentacles there um, with the ten of swords you're already feeling like you gave them your all um, and you want to be seen here you want to be seen and this is why it's very important that this person comes forward now it's like speak now or forever hold your peace because like all of us we want um, to be seen like in the beginning where they saw your worth, where they felt that connection, where they loved you and you need answers right now and not in the future. So I feel like this difficult thing in mending this connection in the future is that uh, you've had 10 pentacles and you know, you worked on it, you was connected, you was building with them and for them to leave you with seven pentacles waiting putting all that energy into something that wasn't serving you, you feel betrayed. Rightly so, um, rightly so. But the waiting and the amount of time that it takes for them to come forward and get out of their ego is gonna be a problem for you. 
um, if you can remember that divine timing is at work um, so it's not just them um, but yeah they're they're trying to heal that ego here um, and I feel like probably you too and um, that's why this one hurt the most because you didn't see that um, they would leave right so waiting on this ace of cups has been terribly hard when you overly gave your love with the queen of cups energy it's like the ultimate betrayal for you but what that ten of swords mean is the resolution of difficult times in the future okay it's not only them it's divine timing here at work you need to heal they need to heal the sun card is a yes can it can it be healed yes the difficult part is the waiting let's have a look at the bottom of the deck for the future ace of wands so that's that taking movement there justice and the chariot three of wands so what you waiting for is coming after you've grown after you've done the work here they are watching you with the page of swords there but the eight of pentacles three of wands uh the chariot um this will take a new turn so there'll be twists and turns here as you both deal and clear karma but we see with the new bottom of the deck in the future there, Eight of Wands. We see a lot of things gathering momentum, messages coming in, communication happening, and things coming into balance. Destiny coming in to help you here. You've just got to trust, okay? And while we're growing and learning, we've got to... Pages are about learning as well. So it is about learning... I feel to communicate th those things that create anxiety within you um, so maybe you after this had trust issues and you say hey you know I've got to communicate to you that I felt betrayed and I feel like you're probably a great communicator until it comes to expressing how people hurt you um, so this is something you could be learning to do working on yourself in hermit mode so that three of wands that is coming in the future there and the destiny uh, will set up this fated meeting with this Eight of Wands. So the situation between you and the person most on your mind is that <sighs> it's very cold right now. I know that the, the, the communication, the distance, it all feels too much and too cold for you. And it just feels like betrayal. It feels like going from being on top of the world to the depths of hell. The, it's the worst experience when you just don't see something coming. You are blindsided by this person. Situation will improve. And the situation right now is that there's still love for that person. And that person still has that love for you. You're working on self-love. They're working on ego. The goddess of self-knowledge, the essence of who I am, I fl of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. So I do feel that you are trying to create this future. We did see the magician and the opportunity is here in the present. Okay, the possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. Now, if you can just remember that, Pope Joan here, uh then I feel that that will help to lift you out of any sort of feelings of betrayal. I am my own guru. I know that self, I know the self that never changes. It's funny, Scorpio just had this. Love is divine. And I am nothing except love. We are all divine. We are all creators. Um, and we are love. And we are here to love. And love takes us on unexpected journeys. But life is never about the destination. If we get to see the beauty in the journey, in the twists and the turns and the ups and the downs, I definitely think that you will understand and find the journey a lot easier so do remember that okay you are your own guru you know thyself 
the possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless, guys. Good luck.